Hi everyone, I'm Dave Movan. I'm here with Mike Godwin. We're going to be recapping uh, this past week's action in the B Division, Week 3. No Dan this week. Um, schedules just didn't match up, so we're going to try to get him back out here uh, next week. But, uh, you know, with summer schedules, his work and, and my work, uh, and Mike, um, just did, didn't happen this week. Uh, Mike, let's jump right into it. Alright, let's, let's do it. First game, we have free agent squad versus the Fireballers. Mike, what have I been telling you about the Fireballers? They are a team to be reckoned with. Am I actually like forced to talk about them now? You have to this week. No, no one else. I can't just talk to myself. Yeah, let's have a soliloquy. Talk about them. Well, What's first we're going to talk about the free agent squad. Greg Hernandez coming off one of his best games in the B division that he's had, 19 points. Uh, and then you look at Caleb Buck, 19 points. Stephen David, 11. Uh, but I'm not giving Fireballers any credit. Three agents had four people there until 12 minutes left in the second half. That's not the Fireballers' fault. I know, but I'm not giving them credit. They don't deserve credit. They won by 41 points, 97 That's to 56. Just number, it's just a number. It's a win is what it is, Mike. It goes in the W column. How easy is it to beat four people? You're Our like ballers move to two and one on the season. You're acting like it's a big win. And I'm already tired of talking about it. Free agents had five at the end of the game. I'm tired of talking about the fireballers already. I look at the fireballers. Uh, Christian Noel, 9 points, 10 rebounds. Vince Oliver, 11. J.P. Hurley chipped in with 23. Brahim Riley is 16 points, 12 oh, rebounds, they all have good stats and then Jaleel Dillard goes I was off watching the video. He must for covered now. 37 points, 11 rebounds. Mike, don't you take anything away from these players. Don't you dare. I'm giving them zero credit. It's disappointing. And my fireball is fine. I, I, I think your, your hate on the... Fireballers is clouding your judgment when it comes to calling out and being professional. It's because it's games of you. I'm sitting right next to you, and I had to work with Rudy all Sunday night, and I didn't stop hearing about it. <laughs> As you should hear about every it. game. There was <laughs> at a certain time in that game after the fireballs, and he was like, "Yeah, the fireball has put up about 50 points by now." Yeah, the fireball has put up about 80 by now. The two and one, Mike. I don't care. I think you need to give them a little more credit. No. I will not do it. Firebars are probably like and you're, third in the standings. They're lucky I'm even talking about right now. Actually, let me see standing. where the firebars are at in the standings right now. They're lucky Dan's not here. Fireballs are right there, just barely below the faculty in standings. Barely below. That's all right. So, you know, congrats to the Fireballs on this win. Next up, we have Untouchables versus Fighting Mongooses. The Untouchables rebounded this week, Dan. I'm Mike. I'm Mike, sorry. I'm not Dan. The Untouchables... We're just talking about Dan not being here. How do you call me Dan? I, I don't know. Don't look like Dan or something? I think he usually sits to my left. He usually sits to my right. Well, we're facing the toe opposite. We're looking over my left shoulder this time. <laughs> As I was saying... The Untouchables rebounded after losing last week. They come back. They're now two and one on the season, in yeah, forty-five to forty-three. We have a lot of two and one teams in the division. Uh, yes, we do. I'm gonna count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight two and one teams. Eight two and one. It's balanced though. It's balanced. Balanced division. It's competitive division. Look at this, Dan Southis. Five points, one personal foul, one turnover. When is when do, do you think he says enough is enough? I have to stop shooting. Dan, Dan is Dan has a shooter's mentality. Every shot looks like a good shot. We, uh, should, we need a stat in, in this iPad that says fadeaways jumpers for just for Dan. Yeah, we probably do. Uh, he he, he had ten of them this game. <laughs> <laughs> he took ten shots and ten of them were fadeaways. <laughs> Phil Anderson, 17 points. Let's see. 
Dave Armstrong, seven rebounds. Great game by the Untouchable. So the fighting behind Goose, they came to play this week. Only lost by two points. You look at this, Jeff Iron, 14 points. Steve Krosick, 19 points. But they need a little bit more help. This is, this is a lot better than two weeks ago when they only put up 27 points. They're improving. Yes, yes. Improving. Every week, that's all That's all you can ask for. Well, they won the first week, so they kind of had a setback. Yeah, they could take a yeah, it happens. Minor setback. Next up, Mike. We didn't mercy rule them, but the faculty at first, he checked. I could talk all day about this game. Mike, you had I probably told, one, of your, one of your best your best game this season. I told him. In I, limited action on the court. I told Jeff, or not Jeff. No, Jeff's probably going to find himself getting further and further down that bench. I told the way he is. Yeah, no. I told Jesse and Nick Klein, who both played for Heat Check, that I was scoring 50 this week. And you I almost came up did. a little short. No, I almost did. I had 10. That's only 40 points short. And Just think how easy 40 points would be to get if I wanted to. Uh, all right, let's <laughs> let's go and start being a little more realistic on this game. Uh, I want to talk about Mike Bird here. 12 points, um, an ankle injury close to the end of the game could cost him a game for us. If, from now on, if we go up by 15. And it's in the second half. We're just putting on the sidelines. We can't risk it. That's, we can't that's risk a good it. move. We need him for playoffs. Mark London, actually, great shooting day for Mark. Seven of ten. That can't be right. We must have missed some of the shots. We Here must have missed that. Dave Mulvaney with four turnovers. And that was by Mark that London, twenty-three points. Where's your turnovers? You must have missed some of yours too. I only had two. Only three. Three. Yeah. You had more than four. Go on. Man. You probably had more than three. No. I'm ready First of all, specific. you were doing the stats and you had me listed at one. But being the fair person I am, I said, Mike, I had four. John took over halfway through the game. I was already out at that point. I was on the bench. I took myself out. Maybe John knew that you just turned it up the machine, so he just added something to you, maybe. <laughs> now we look at Heat Check. Uh, Emmanuel Magruder, good game for him, 17 points. Uh, Laquan Magruder, 12 points. Phil Jackson nine, but they need some more scoring out. They need they have some players. I they just they need to work right. better just, as a team. Yeah, they don't do much passing. They don't they do not play it's, as a team. It's a lot of one on one stuff. Yeah, if they can learn to play as a team and put more pressure on the defense that way, I think they'll be better off. Yeah. I agree with you. Definitely. Next up we have skills to kills versus Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers with a huge win. They needed it, Mike. I think their first, I think their first two games were close. They just barely lost. Yeah. No, the first one was against Catalina Wine Mixers, um, and they lost by like one or two points. And then they lost. Uh, they lost last week on like a layup to end the game. At the buzzer. And they won this week. And now they're getting back on track. We're just talking about improving every week. That's all you can do. They've done it. They've done it. I haven't seen this team play yet, though. I came in at the very end of this game, so I didn't see much of it. Kyle McLucas with 17 points. Joe Stafiri, 10 points. And Will Boucher with 9. Eric Williams chipped in with 9. And then you see Will Boucher also 12 rebounds. And Joe Stafiri with 10 rebounds. Do you think Pink Panthers rebounding had a lot to do with this win? Yeah, I think so. That's what it looks like to me. 40 rebounds. Skills to kills. You know, man, they were close. Only five points. Monte Taylor, 17 points and 13 rebounds. You know, he's he's clearly their best player. But he needs to get some more help. Who's this, Monte Taylor? Monte Taylor. Yeah, 17 and 13. That's, a, that's, that's a game right there. Next up, we have Diamond State Warriors versus Monstars. Diamond State Warriors continue to win basketball games. Now 3-0 on the season. Are you sold on this team? I am. The 3-0. There's only two undefeated teams left in the B division. It's Diamond State Warriors and Delaware. Until they lose, they're going to be put in the same sentence with Delaware. Okay, I can agree with you. I was just asking a simple question. I was biting my head off. I was just making sure you weren't <laughs> taking a shot at Diamond State Warriors. 
P.K. Blake, 23 points, 10 rebounds. Denzel Wright, 13 points. And then Rel McManus, 8 points. Okay, Rel. Now we look down at the Monstars. Jamal McRae, 16 points. What's wrong with this Monstars team? Are they on three now? Mm -hmm. They need to get it together. They have two close losses and then the Mercy Rule loss. Do you think they'll know. be there in the end? In the end? I don't know what like to say. The, not the very end. I think they'll I think they'll make be a, a much improved team by playoff time. Okay. I, I can't say they'll make a run in the playoffs. I have to see who they're gonna be matched up against. It's not looking good if they keep losing. Well, I know they better start this week. Next up start. we have J Squad first refuse to lose. Actually not a bad game. Yeah, I was gonna say this game is a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. J Squad won, fifty three to forty two. I know close to the end of the game it was like an eight point uh, and parts of the game was even tied up. So, are you concerned about J-Squad right now? Or do you want to give the credit to refuse to lose? I'm a little concerned about J-Squad. What's his second game? Ted's miss? Yeah. I mean, what's he, he got his championship? Are you, are you going to question Ted's loyalty? He got his championship and he just quit or what? Maybe he's just like, he's uh, uh, maybe, maybe he's just like, because before they were playing to get past the number two on. Maybe now it's just like, I'll see you guys in the championship game. Oh, man. I hope he's not like, I hope he's not thinking like that. <laughs> Martin with 15 points. JD, JD. Oh, man. With 17 points. JD he has already, shoot. has he shown up for all three of their games so yes, far? Yes, he has, I think. And when he played for the faculty last season, what did he give us, two games? Yeah, he did. JD. Lance has been struggling a little bit shooting. Yeah, he has. Last game he was like one for fifteen. In this game he was one for seven. I know John Moore was playing with you know he's he ha was having some back problems from last week's game. What's after with Lance? Let's move it on from Lance. <laughs> I was just I was trying to take a little more positive turn. How? How was John being hurt positive? No, it wasn't positive. I'm just saying that's why he only put up four points. So I was saying maybe if John was healthy, the team would have played even better. That's positive. That's good. That's it. All right. I mean, I guess. It's not getting me pumped up. You were getting, ready to, you were getting ready to beat up on Lance. So <laughs> what? He only had two points and three assists. So what? He didn't need it. They didn't need it. They won. They could have. It's all matters. Closer than you'd like to see. Uh, Darrell Harris, now, I had him all fired up last week because I made it. Well, Dan made the joke about the team name, and I just repeated it. So that's what I get for copying anything Dan says. <laughs> but I may have called him refuse to win last week. Um, they played better, though. They, they did play better Maybe this week. Maybe that team, they motivated him a little bit. Maybe. Uh, Roberto, big game for him, 13. I think he's been struggling a little bit on the season. But uh, I think there's a couple highlights of him in the B Division highlight video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mark Perkins, 8 points. Uh, 2 of 14 from the floor, though. Mark, if he has 14 touches... He, he should have about 15 points. If he played like he did against us, they win this game. Yeah, he was I'd have to agree. I'd have to agree. He was unstoppable, I'm telling you. Next up, in what felt like, a, I would call it a blast from the past, ACCB versus Elite. I remember when these two teams used to match up in the A division all the time, yeah. and they were always good games. So mm -hmm. I knew this one was going to be a good one as well, and it ended with a final score, ACC wins. 51-46. Look at ACC's numbers. Tommy Williams, 14 points. Uh, Nate Wilson, 8. So it was, and uh, sorry, I'm just, Marquevis Seth, 18 points. <coughs> and then we look down the elite. We have Anthony Waters with 17. Malcolm Weaver with 14. They just, they just needed that, that third score to chip in a little bit more. This team will be there. Be both of these teams. Both, both, teams. both, these, both these teams I, I probably have in my top five right now. You can't look in the Elite's one and two record. They're better than that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Way better They've had two tough games. Yeah. What they've had, yeah. Who did they play last week? Uh, I don't remember. Don't remember. No. I know they, they won, though. That's all I remember. Next up in what had to be... 
the best finish of the week. Hog Mob versus Team Doc. I still don't know how I feel about either one of these teams. I'll tell you what. That the blueprint is out on Hog Mob. You know I love them. I love I like Hog Mob. Hack a church? Yep. Hack a Hog Mob. <laughs> Hack a Hog. One, One for, for 15. 15. For, from the free throw line. Michael, let me ask you a serious question. Yes. If you were shooting 15 free throws with a blindfold on, do you think you would make at least two? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'd have to agree. One for 15. That's going to be a record. You can't win a game. I mean, you can, but the other team is <laughs> really bad. You can't win a game going one for 15 from the free throw line. Now, you look at this. Gavin is continuing to struggle all the season. Do you have any words of encouragement for him? He doesn't need any. He'll be back. He's fine. You think Gavin will? I know he's, he's playing, adjusting his game. He's playing a lesser role on this team. You know, I think they care a lot. Gavin cares about winning, and that's it. They won, but just barely. I know. But Ten points for Mike Jones. Doesn't no matter how much you win by, as long as you win. No Dave Henninger this week. Uh, he'll actually get a pass because he messaged me on Facebook and let me know he wouldn't be here. If you just don't show, that's when you get it. Uh, and then you look down at Alex Bianchi. Five points. But the biggest shot of the game of the to year. win it. Of the season. Well, not, not unless it's a bigger shot. Player. Actually, Maybe the now that you say that, Doc hit a turnaround jumper from the foul line off a rebound. Put them up 52-51, which was ended up being the final score. And Don, with 1.8 seconds left, hold him up, calls timeout. Out of the timeout, Don Robinson shoots a half court shot. It goes in, but after the clock, after the time ran out. Man, it's like that's, that's an incredible saw some finish. Dave Mulvaney esque there. Oh, I make mine. You know why the clock's still <laughs> running? <laughs> but yeah. It was probably not too long after the clock. I mean, it was close. It was close. Yeah. Uh, you look here, Allen with 11 points, but Allen continues to play very, very good basketball for this Docs, for this team Doc. If he continues to play this you way. You keep wanting to call him Docs old guys, don't you? No, no, I just like to just call him Docs. Okay. Just Docs. Okay. Docs boys or something. So. Team Doc, you know, they're looking good. Now, I look over here at um, Hog Mob stats. Lamore Church, 14 points, but 0 for 9 from the free throw line. If he makes half of that, he has, he has, you know, he has almost 20 points. Half of them. He makes two of them. They win. Well, true. Uh, look down, Dave Sadowski, 8 points. Two or seven for a three point line. Eh, I would like to see go at least three or seven. But what are you gonna do? So I, I don't know. You know, I still still don't know about these teams. I mean, I know they're both gonna be there at the end, but uh, I'm not sure right now which which is the better team. Right now you have I mean Doc, yes, Docs won. Every but, team being there. Yeah. No, not every team. <laughs> Look, I didn't talk about Catalina one next year yet, did I? I think they're the next game. Lucky us, right? Our final game, we had Catalina Wine Mixers versus Delaware. Ooh. Mike, as we predicted, Delaware was going to win this game. Yes, I predicted that. And so did I. And as I predicted, Dave will not be here to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at this first. Catalina Wine Mixers, uh, just from watching the highlights, uh, Bell Herndon had a good game, uh, 14 points. Mark, if you want to come over and talk, come on over. Come on over, Mark. Come on in, have a seat. Faculty star coming in. Hey, let's slide over. Give Mark a little room in the middle. Come on, right here, man. Just sit right here. Here you go, Mark. Mark, now that you're in the B division. So before when we used to talk B division basketball, you kind of just ignored us. And you, you, you know, you try to talk A division. Um, but now that you're in the B division, so putting up 20, what do you got, 23 this last game, your top two in scoring right now? I don't know, we got the W. We got the, well, that is true. We did, we did get the win. That's more importantly, Mark, like. more, 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 more importantly, like that Mark, we could see you make up an appearance in the All-Star game this season. Maybe. 
I'd rather, I'd rather have the trophy. He wants to well, make the All Star game cost first. We'll worry about the trophy after. <laughs> yeah. He the wants trophy. to make the All Star team, but he probably won't even come to the game. <laughs> that could be very true. If he doesn't show up to the game, we'll cut him. We'll give him his papers. Give him his papers. Because he's if he's there to represent the faculty. So, Mark, we're just looking at Catalinas. Um, let me get to Dan Schultz. All right, we have Dan Schultz, three of ten from the field, three of seven from the three point line, nine points two. Who's that? Dan Schultz. No. No, he had, he had been ripping. He had been ripping the, ripping the shooters club. Your boy Danny, anyone that was associated with the shooters club. For a long time now. Is there anything you'd like to say to Dan while you have the camera on you? Nah. We'll just see, see you on Sunday, buddy. Yeah. We will get to see well, him on Dan Sunday. Show we'll up Sunday. Is What's your prediction this weekend? <sighs> I don't know too much about your team. I know they have, um, did they get Zach from the Revenge Pod? Yeah. yeah. I do like him. He's, he's, he's a good ball player. Um, and I think they have... Rodolski? They, they picked up Rodolski, who's okay. yet to show two games. Okay, so they got a couple good um, good pickups. Um, I'm not too familiar with the team, but you know those two guys, they're, they're, they're great ball players. I mean, you know, John's been a good player in the B League since it started, so um, it's going to be it's going to be a good game. But you know, I think if we have everybody the there, if we have everybody there, I'm thinking we should win by at least ten or fifteen. Alright, so he's being nice about it, and then he likes to yeah, at least say we're going to win by 50. Now, Mark, we'll go with Mark you, this is your first season with the faculty, but in both my career and Mike's career, I mean, except for maybe one game versus the Nooners, Dan has always put up numbers against our teams. Is that going to end this weekend? Yeah, it's going to end this weekend. I yep. guarantee you it's going to end this weekend. Sorry, I'm not going to, you know, I'll make sure I have Who knows if he even shows up? I don't know. I see. I, I, mean, I don't know. I see on Instagram. It looked like he was hurt. I had something on there. It was an Instagram pic saying that he was somebody was on crutches. I don't know if it was. I don't know who it is, but I don't know. Hey. Well, Catalina. Back to Delaware versus Catalina. Uh, Bo, I mentioned, had a good game, 14 points. Um, Dan had chipped in with nine, but you know, DJ Mace was eight. Who actually, from what I was watching, he was having a pretty good game. But uh, then we look down at Delaware. Delaware's just dominated. Good. Just dominated. Joe Walsh, 17 points. Tom Walsh, 9. And then you have Bill with 16. And Mike, your boy, Sam Goins with 11. Sam Goins with 11. Bill also had 14 he plays like He plays like John Rodriguez. No, no, nobody nobody, rebounds, nobody can replace a John Rodriguez. But I'm saying they play, have similar styles of play. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. They do. They had some of the Catalina's wine here. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's a good player. He played at AI. He can't beat me one on one, but I know. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone in the A division that can even beat you one on one. That's probably so. true. I know him and John played one on one a lot. They played one on one a lot to get them prepared for this season. Yeah. Who was one of those matchups? I think they split. To be honest with you. Training partners. That's like. Yeah, I don't know what kind of how that would look one on one because what's that like Shaq for Shaq? Man. <laughs> Damn, that's they know each other. That's probably more like Rodman versus Rodman. <laughs> Rodman versus Rodman. They both just fill up shots and get rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone game, scores. Yeah, I don't think anyone scores. Going. It's all about like they miss on purpose yeah. and then they just battle for the rebound. <laughs> Most rebounds wins. They don't even play for points. <laughs> First one to but, the rebounds. Yeah, you know Delaware probably. Not even probably the best team in the B division right now. I don't know. I agree. With you. I disagree. But you disagree? Who would you put yes. above them? You can't put the faculty if they lost to them. I mean, the faculty was missing their all the floor fellas. leader. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, yeah, right now they are they are the best team. I mean, on record wise, record wise, they won. But you know, on paper, we, we let that we let that win slip. But you know what? They, they played a hell of a game. They won, so you got to All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for our, our B Division uh, recaps this week. Mark, thanks for stopping by. No problem, we know how busy you. you are around here. Yeah. I'm so that on. you can, you know, squeeze us in for just a few minutes. So I was doing, doing my walkthroughs now. Now I'm going to probably go walk around some more. And, there you go. And do work. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks for checking us out this week, and uh, we'll see everyone on Sunday.